Welcome to the Greensburg Salem online schedule request tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to get into your Greensburg Salem online student portal and make your schedule request. What you will need to have in front of you is your Greensburg Salem High School post secondary planning guide that you picked up during our presentations with Mrs. Klippa and Mrs. Ritzke. Once you have that book in front of you, you will need to turn to the back of the book. In the back of the book, you will see that you will find your curriculum planning worksheet. For the purposes of this tutorial, we're going to be using a mock created 10th grade student who's now going to the 11th grade. However, if you are an 8th grade student, you'll be looking for the 9th grade curriculum planning worksheet. If you are a ninth grader, you'll look for the 10th grade curriculum planning sheet. If you're a 10th grader, you will look for the 11th grade curriculum planning sheet. And if you're an 11th grader, you'll be looking for the 12th grade curriculum planning worksheet. Inside your Greensburg Salem High School post-secondary planning guide, you will see on starting on page 18 is a list of courses available to in this case juniors, but you can also see courses available to freshmen, sophomore, and seniors. For the purpose of this video, we're going to be looking at courses available to juniors. But you can take a look at the courses and the numbers available. While you have your curriculum planning worksheet in front of you, you will want to flip back to the courses available to whatever class you're going to. You'll see that they're broken into departments. You're going to want to look at your schedule. So for example, once you have selected your pathway and your possible career post-secondary options, if you know what they are, you're gonna come down to here and you're gonna look at your required courses. Notice that an 11th grader needs one credit in English, one to two credits in math, a third year, one to two credits in science, social studies, one credit, and then four to five credits in an elective course. So what you will do is you will pick your courses, required courses above, and then you will select your electives. So for example, English, you would go to your schedule, courses available to juniors, and you would take a look at English. Notice all of the courses available for English language arts classes. You would write down ENG140 if you are picking this particular class. Make sure that you write it correctly and do not add any other numbers or letters except for the ones that you see in your course scheduling book. You will make sure that you write that down here. That's important for the next few steps. Once you have filled all of this out and you've picked the elective courses, numbers, and credits, and two alternates with the course numbers and the credits, then you'll be ready to schedule. You need to go to the Greensburg Salem School District website. Next, you will find this tab here labeled grades. Click on that. Notice it's taken you to the online grades portal. You're going to scroll down and you're going to click student access. This will take you to the student portal. At this point, you will type in your username and password. Again, for the purposes of this tutorial, we have created a student that does not exist in the system or does not exist in the Greensburg Salem School District. So I'm going to go ahead and type in the required information that is ask of me. And log in. Notice that we have arrived at this student's website, Greensburg, Salem, Eversol, grade 10. We're going to want to go ahead and click on course request inside your portal. If you do not remember your username or password, please email Mrs. Yasika at deborah.yasika at gslions.net to reset your password. At this point, you will go ahead 
and select course request. This is where you're going to start your new request for your courses. Make sure that you have your schedule in front of you as you go ahead and type in your requests. So let's get started. You're gonna go over here and you're going to click new request. You're going to head, go ahead over to the course with the red asterisk and click inside. This is where you're going to type the course name or number. We're gonna go ahead and type in ENG. Notice there are several courses. There are several courses, however, that do begin with a zero. Please do not select those courses. Make sure that you type exactly what you have written on your sheet. So in this case, the selected require English is ENG 143. Notice that course is there. Select it and click Save. Your course request has been added, Collect, click OK. Notice that the English 11 one credit course you selected has been added. You will do the same for the rest of your courses. So for example, the student selected geometry, math 411. So you will go ahead and select MTH 411. Geometry, save, and OK. You'll go back to your schedule. Notice this student selected two sciences. You need to enter these one at a time. So the first one is CSCI. Three eighteen. and SCI 340. Next, we will take a look at our schedule. This student has selected the International Studies for their Social Studies credit. So I'm going to type in SOC 243. The next course that this student has selected is their elective. Now, before we move on, there are students who are attending CTC. You will type in VTC. This will give you all of the tech courses available. You'll have to make sure that you select the correct one. So for example, if you are in vocational technology carpentry, you would select VOTEC or VTC 617 for carpentry. Notice I have to scroll down to see all of the courses offered. Make sure that you select the correct one. So those of you that attend VOTEC, this will be in the place of your elective. This particular student does not, so I'm going to move forward. The first elective course is AP Psychology. So they will select SOC 273. And click Save. You will continue to do this all the way down. Boots 2. The next one is nutrition. Notice that we have two on the same line. Make sure that you put them accordingly. Nutrition would be first, FCS. The next course is 
PE Girls Fitness for Life. Okay, so now I know I have selected all four credits. To make sure that you have alternative courses selected in case these courses are full, you will want to have an alternate to these courses. So, this student listed business for personal finance and mixed course as their alternate courses. So notice that we have these courses all selected. So when you're selecting your alternate classes, you can make them alternates for any one of the electives that you have selected. So for example, this person has said, if I can't get AP Psychology, I would like business for personal finance. Or if I don't get foods too, I would like to have business. Or if I don't get nutrition, I'd like to have business. You could also say that if I don't get this, I'd prefer a mixed course. If I don't get foods, I'd prefer the business course. You can alternate them however you would like. So let's do that. So we take a look at our elective courses. For example, foods two is an elective. So I'm gonna go over here to this yellow plus sign. Notice it says add alternate course request. I'm going to say, that if I don't get foods too, I would like, and then we go back to our alternates. You can pick either one as an alternate. So for example, if I don't get my alternate class for my foods too, I would like to have mixed course, which is ART 913. Once I save that, notice that that alternate class has been placed on the alternate course. I can also say that if I don't get PE Girls Fitness for Life, I can have an alternate class as well. Notice that that alternate class now appears underneath alternate course. You can also click on the comment box and make a note for your guidance counselor. In this particular situation, you may want to say something in regards to your alternate course. And finally, our other elective course was AP Psychology. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to also say, if I don't get that course, I would like this as an alternate to you. You can also add two alternates inside the same square. Notice that two alternates have been added to one. This student's schedule is now complete. Make sure that you check pending approved requests and approved requests. Make sure that these are both unchecked before you leave the portal. Once you are done, make sure that you come up to the door and the arrow and log yourself off. Make sure that you save your curriculum planning worksheet so that when you return to school, you can have this ready for your guidance counselor. Again, make sure that you check out the Greensburg-Salem School District. You can go online grades, student access to enter your portal. And remember, if you go to the Greensburg-Salem High School, you can find the guidance tab. If you cannot remember your password, please email Mrs. Yusika at deborah.yasika at gslions.net to reset your password. Thank you for watching the Greensburg-Salem High School Curriculum Planning Tutorial.